Fantastic freshies today. Thoughts by you give you love and affection in times of need. My friends, they think I'm rich. Yeah, they're like, can you buy me a house when you're older? <sighs> the eel fell in love with the bearded woman, Sina. I know, brother. <laughs> Stop it. This is how we keep it fresh. Polly Pizza keeping it fresh at the canteen fight night. Let's go. We're keeping it fresh here at the fight night for Canteen. You're gonna see a whole bunch of things, awesome fights, and uh, it's gonna be a great night. Yeah! Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Israel Adesonia, and we're here at the Cloud Canteen Fight Night, keeping it fresh. My name is Sheena, I'm from Rarotunga Cook Islands. Um, this is my first fight, very excited. The goal is not to get knocked out. When I first did my sparring session, I wanted to give up because people like way shorter than me up hip height were giving me a hiding. And you know, and I was just like, that's it, I'm done. I didn't want to be hit, but I got used to it. So yeah, I'm just hoping, hoping for the best tonight. And they stay there, and they stay there, and they stay there. I'm just here to support um, the fighters that are training, making sure that they feel okay and whatever Rod needs me to do, because it's quite quite daunting. I've done it before. It hasn't been quite this big, but ooh, this looks pretty scary, but it's going to be all good. All we can do in the corner is offer maybe one or two pieces of advice. Anything else just goes out the door. Um, we need to uplift our, our fighters, make sure they feel confident, uh, pick out one thing that they could probably work on, point that out, and just get them to work on it. And then I guess a big thing is not yelling at them. They can't hear. Everyone's yelling. So if we try and keep a calm, lower tone, they can probably hear us and just try and trust us to say the things that they need to hear. Blue corner, keeping it fresh all day. day. <laughs> Hi, my name is... Uh... I'm from Kauai, Tonga. This is my third fight. Man, I can't explain to you how, how awesome it is. Eh? Even though it's a one-on-one -on -one sport, but I'm in there to support a charity and, and I do my bit, so it was awesome. I want to see fun. I want to see them give it their all and really put it out there. You know, you, you only have one shot at this, so you have to express yourself. I turned around the second and the third, so that's how I win the fight tonight. My name is Gabby Solomona. This is my first fight. I 
love dancing. I'm not a very good dancer, but I'm pretty unco. But yeah, I like my song um, that I've got. It's a, it's a dancey song, so that's how I'm going to keep it fresh. And then when I come after my fight, I'm going to come straight to the back and I'm going to eat everything. That's how you know you're fresh. one piece of kit you must have for the fire squad? I would have to say it's uh, red gazelles, our fiery red shoes. That's the kit that we need to have. It's time for threads, baby. My name is Thomas. I'm a, uh, a musician, an artist, a creative being. I'm 26 years old and I live in Auckland City. I really like colours, so I, I try to kind of have something colourful on me at all times, even if it's just a colourful pair of socks. In terms of my style, I've got two personas that my style kind of falls into, so um, I DJ as well under the name Arthur Wolf, and um, I've got this black mask that I got made. Whenever I DJ, it's kind of black, you know, black t-shirt or black leather jacket, black jeans and black army boots. And that's, you know, specifically what that's supposed to look like. Whereas on the other side, which is, you know, the Thomas Rose, is more just colourful or kind of natural. And I wanted to make those two aliases so that there was a distinct difference between the two and I just had a place to express myself. When I put stuff on, it's more about how it makes me feel rather than what it looks like. So it, it might look cool, but it definitely makes me feel good, you know? It might look bad, but it will definitely be making me feel good. So that's the one thing that I find is uncompromised. Don't go anywhere, Freshies. Things are heating up after the break. Let's go. Please, let me get, let me get. Oh, <laughs> We're so proud, bro. So Hi. proud. Dog. Go. Toko. Hey, you know that song? What song? The Toko song. Toko song? Yeah, you know, it's good. Sitting on the dog of the bay. Watching the crowd. Toko, where are you going? General Fire. Watch it, man. I miss everyone, come quick, nobody tell me what they think. Now don't ever forget why we do this music. Not for the popularity, money, other things. Yep. Welcome back to Fresh. I'm General Fire, and this is my world. I told you I'm not good at interviews. My name is Lottie Manika Naspomei, and I just turned 11. I know we started off on the wrong foot, baby. And I'm also known as General Fire. I know you that to me right from the start. I know this cause it almost tore us apart. General Fire came because I play a number of instruments, and three years down, I um, came up with the name to call me General. I added fire to um, the band, so um, I combined the two and formed my stage name, General Fire. I want to be the one who stands by you, walks by you, give you love and affection in times of need. The song Love and Affection was written by me and my uncle, and I guess my uncle wanted me to know these values. Come inside, rest your body on my heart, my yeah, this is the whole purpose of putting Free House down together was uh, my dad. That was his way of um, keeping us brothers together. It's good to pass the baton down to someone 
light you know, on fire to carry on with the, with the vision and the journey, you know. So for us, it, it's mean, you know, to, to travel with, with the second generation. Yeah, I'm very lucky to um, have my, my dad and my uncles and my grandpa. I loved music at a very young age, and ever since then, I never looked back. I learned to play music like that from my grandpa. Shooting a video on Facebook. Hey. I used to catch him out in the bathroom, you know, singing to himself in the mirror. And um, I just knew, like, bro, his time will come soon. And, you know, it was all about timing. Uh, my first performance wasn't actually, um, I think I sang for the church. I first performed after my, um, my dad and my uncles challenged me to sing past the dachi. Give me little music, make me wind up me wheels. Me say listen to the drama, me say listen to the beers. Give me little music, make me wind up me wheels, I say. Pass the dachi pan the left hand side. Pass the dachi pan the left hand side. Give me the music, make me jump and fly. It was 2016 when I loved that. Um, we gave him his first break and he took it with two hands and he smashed it totally. So we knew after that, it was a bit of a worry for me because, hey, man, that's my job, you know, but... Um... <laughs> yeah, it was very big. Like, the crowd would, like, scream, like, <sighs> And it just makes you happy, I mean. A kid his age, you know, usually, um, oh, man, I don't want to do that. Well, he likes the place up, you know, um, he adds in his own flavor. He does things that, like, bro, I'm like, what the? Bro, I gotta play after this dude. You know what I mean? That's hard. What's up, my love? You ready to party? We're so proud, bro. So right. proud. My friends, yeah, they, they think I'm rich. Yeah, they're like, can you buy me a house when you're older? To be honest, I, I think he's got the potential to go all the way. I'm not going to say the full details, but yeah, there's a big contract out there for him. It's a big major label in America and also the biggest label in all of Europe. Yeah, but in saying that, you know, if I had the opportunity that he had as a young kid, oh, 100%. <laughs> but I still have to do my homework, you know. I totally forgot that you caught my eyes. Let's canicapilla to the sun comes out again. Right now, peeps, we've got that full freshness of fire coming right after the break. Oh. Wait, I want to see that clip. Auntie Tala's tree grew coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> Live from the first Olympics over here, we're with our gold medal winner, the man himself. Hey, I know the team feels great, but how do you feel? Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, the feel is very good. I, uh, the grass is a bit wet, otherwise it's a good feel. And we win the game, so, you know, thank you to the field. your boy General Fire and the Fire Squad. Woo! Let's check out what those naughty aunties are up to. Here's Faika Kala.
Talofa Tamaiti. Talofa Lama. Now, your teacher is away because she's got diarrhea. So we are here as the relief teachers today. My name is Miss Faker Kala. And to my left, Auntie Tala. Yes, I'm the pretty four teacher. Hi, hey, am I pretty four? Yeah. Okay, children. Good, good good children. Stop lying, what children. What are good children? You shouldn't lie. That's in the they don't lie. They're shitting up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, we're here to tell you a story. So that means it's story time. Yeah. 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 So do you know the story of Cena and the eel? <gasps> yeah. yeah. Once upon a time, <gasps> there lived a young girl called Cena. Hi. Cena was having puberty problems and was growing massive facial hair. Wow. I know, right? Cena was really naughty. She was really disobedient to her parents because her parents wanted to do some for owls, but instead of doing for owls, she decided to just, you know, like, like wag school and take off behind the house and wander through the village. What? And she came across this riverbed. <gasps> and guess what she found? An eel. Hi, I'm a eel. I'm a eel. <laughs> the eel fell in love with the bearded woman, Cena. Eel! I know! <laughs> Stop it. And the more the eel fell in love, <laughs> I think the eel actually kisses Cena. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a longer kiss than that, eh? Yeah. Oh, it, it feels nice. <laughs> right, saying it. Yeah. And then after that, because it was so in love with all of Cena, and I mean all of Cena, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Is that a lot? It's not even. That's it's a, a it's mouse. A, it's a sea lion. It's turned into a sea lion. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway, it got so big <gasps> that Cena, the bearded woman's ugly ass brothers, all three of them, came down and chopped him up. Chop, 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 chop. And then after it was dead, what happened? They buried it. They buried it, that's right. And then it grew into a tree. Why are you asking me? Don't you know the story? No, I'm not getting up as a guy. It grew into a tree. <laughs> Does Auntie Tala look like a tree? No. <laughs> look like a peacock. Auntie, like a what? Like a peacock. <laughs> Auntie Tala's tree grew coconuts. <gasps> <laughs> And then one of the coconuts fell out. <laughs> and then when you look at the coconut, what does it have on there? A face! Yes? Yeah. What do you think that is? A face! A baby! A baby? <laughs> That's not how the story goes. Yeah. You're just making it up. No, it just, it's uh, this way, it is uh, this two eyes. Yes. And two nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, guys, is the story of Cena and the eel. Yeah! What was the point of the story, do you reckon? Hands up! Yes? Cena's ugly. That Cena is ugly. I think that deserves a round of applause. Oh, that was very close. <laughs> Not just Cena, also your chicha. Yeah, she's very ugly too. Yeah. Good. I did not. Oh, thank you, thank you. You want your attention? <laughs> just listen what I told you, okay? The opposite way. Okay, the what? opposite way. What's it? <laughs> <laughs>
Coconut Lime featuring Shefu. Sky Pirates, baby. That's us freshies. Guys, you guys did it wrong. You guys did it wrong. You guys did it wrong. I'm oh, sorry, I'm oh, sorry. It's been awesome chilling with you guys today. Here's what hitting you up next week. Next week on Fresh, we're celebrating 25 years of Shortland Street. They need to pay me more to work with them. They just don't pay me enough at all to work with you. <laughs> Keep, Keep this between us, though. It's the one hospital that you actually don't have to be a doctor. We put the good in the good in the good life. The good we put the good in the good in the good life. Until then, tacos. Keep it fresh. Let's go. Woo! Okay, let's go. All it takes is one rhyme. Divine. Coconut lime. Job is swinging from tree to tree. Ooh. Put it in the air. And you can grab a vine with me. Ooh. Coconut lime. Coconut lime. Job is swinging from tree to tree. Ooh. Put it in the air. And you can grab a vine with me. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.